How's it going everyone? My name's Jason and uh, I thought I'd make a quick uh, YouTube tutorial. This is actually a video that I uh, that I made about a year ago actually. I just stumbled across it and I thought I might upload it to YouTube for people that might want to uh, have a shot at making like an aircraft for their first time because uh, this was actually my first time of making it so I'm just going to explain over what I think was going through my mind a year ago when I made it. So. Um, it's uh, hopefully I'll try and be as informative as possible. Uh, anyway, um, so this is the ship here, and uh, uh, so basically what we're going to do is just uh, model it and then uh, and then just do a quick preset texture over it on top. So I have sped it up two times, uh, and this is the model here. Uh, this is the little scene that I actually used it in. Just a little quick scene, uh, just give you an idea of what I was trying to do. Uh, like I said, it was my very first model. Um, there's a few. There's a lot. A lot has changed since I did it a year ago. I've learnt a lot since then. Um, but this is good for beginners, you know. If you want to build something, it still looks pretty cool. Um, yeah. So what you want to do basically is uh, is draw a circle uh, or create a sphere. And uh, I did 24 sides. And basically, I've I have sped this up two times, mostly because I know you guys. Uh, a lot of people don't want to go through a whole hour long uh, tutorial. So just um, pause when you. Uh, when you can, if I'm going too fast for you. So I just flattened it out, um, basically, along the z-axis. Uh, and then, as you can see, I've just selected a whole stack of polygons uh, with the space bar on polygon mode. And uh, and I'm just using the T button, uh, and I'm just uh, basically moving the T for move, and I'm just moving the polygons around. Uh, and I use the Y as well. Uh, like, see, I'm using the T here. Uh, and just before I used the Y, the Y is rotate, and you know, so it rotates up and down. So I got that bit of lean, and um, yeah, and basically all I'm doing is uh, I'm using the exact same piece, uh, and all I'm doing is uh, copying one uh, in particular part, and then I'm creating another layer. As you can see on the bottom right, I've got a layers panel. Uh, if you go up to Windows you, and then you hit uh, Layers, and then you'll come up with this little cool panel. It's what I use often. Uh, and so I've done a centrifuge, as you can see, and I copied that, and then I pasted it into the wing. And then I used uh, T and then W to basically uh, move you know, the wing up and to the left. And then, uh, and then what I did is in the wing, as you can see, I then just Control Copy, Control Paste, and then I duped it. Uh, sorry, mirrored it, sorry. Um, uh, and uh, basically, as you can see here, mirror is on the multiply uh, under the duplicate there. I just mirrored it. And uh, and so then now I've got the wings. I've just gone back to the centrifuge again, and I've just selected so I could make like a cockpit of some sort. Uh, you know, so, I mean, as you can see, I'm sort of going pretty wild, you know. Uh, like like I said, this is actually my first go, so I, I really didn't... didn't wasn't sure exactly what to do. I just wanted to create a spaceship or something, you know, and and I just you know started manipulating the 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 uh, polygons. So yeah, so here as you can see, uh, I actually selected. Uh, see if if you select two of them like this and you press the T and you move, they will move outwards together as one. But what you should do, which I didn't do at the time, is is hit symmetry, which is in the middle of your screen down the bottom. You'll see a little button called symmetry. You want to click click that. It's slightly to the left, bottom slightly to the left, and uh, you want to click that. And then what that does is, if you of course, if you click one polygon, it will also click the exact opposite, so you don't have to keep you know. Um, anyway, so um, getting back to it, basically this is what I'm doing. I'm using T a lot. Uh, basically, almost the entire tutorial, almost all I use is T, with a little bit of Y to rotate. Um, and uh, like here, see if you hit symmetry, you wouldn't have to double up all the time. It would you just do it once, you know. So here, once again, I'm doing T, and I'm just moving it down. You know, I'm just trying to get a little bit of detail, you know. So, <clears throat> so just uh, you know, I mean. Like I, said, I did two times here because there's not really a lot that you really have to concentrate on 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 watching because really all I'm doing is I'm just going around the model over and over around trying to find bits where I can put detail into it you know just with just with the T button you know just moving it around so if you just do the same you don't you don't have to necessarily do exactly what I've done uh, you know just just sort of create I mean like I said it's your first try just you know just 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 see how you go. So I mean, just use use mine as like a reference or a guide. Uh, oh, it's, my apologies. There's something else I forgot to tell you. Was uh, I actually? If you hit the tab, you want to uh, uh, when you first start to make the model. Um, 
uh, it doesn't really matter if you do it later, but the tab, if you hit the tab key, it subdivides uh, the model for you, which makes it more like silk, you know, that's why it's much easier to manoeuvre. So here, I regret doing this, uh, you might not want to do it, uh, I look back in it, I think it's pretty bad, uh, just where I did the little wings there, little detail on the wings, I don't really like that very much, but uh, like I said, you know, I was just playing around, you just, 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 Play around with everything. Um, just there, I used B for bevel. Where uh, you know, so if you select your polygons and B for bevel, and you lift it up and down, you know that that that's what's giving me that depth there. So, uh, but really, you, you don't really want to worry about that too much. If it's your first go, just just you know, if you don't know very many keys, just just use the T button and the Y button to rotate, and you know, and just start pulling pulling polygons around everywhere. Just just make sure you don't stretch the polygons too much. You know, so in other words, if the polygon's starting to get a bit too long, you know, then select polygons around it, you know, so it's not stretching too much. And here, I think what I was thinking of doing was like a, uh, like a uh, thruster. Uh, so what I'm trying to do is I'm just pulling it down with T uh, and then using Y to sort of rotate them a little bit straighter. Uh, but I think I changed my mind. I think I decided to put them on the wing. Uh, I think so. This bit here might be pointless uh, for you to watch. Uh, yeah, but I mean, like I said, you don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing. Just basically, you know, use it as a reference, and you know, just just pause. Like I said, just pause your video here every now and then if if I'm going a bit fast, and uh, you know, and then just have a play around with it until you're happy with what you've done, and then you can restart the video back up and continue following on. Because, uh, like I said, a lot of this really is, is you know, it's just me trying to figure out, you know, what I'm going to do, you know, like, uh, so, I mean, that's what you should do the same. So, uh, yeah, so here, uh, I just, you know, created a burner page uh, with under layers there, if you just double click the layer, uh, and uh, I've just basically uh, extended a, uh, a, what did I do, disk, I did a disk there on the left under primitives and I just uh, expanded it out like like there and yeah it don't it doesn't have to be exactly like me like what I've done I'm just doing like a thruster thing so I've just duped it and then shrunk it down now I'm going to size it up and I'm going to then go to construct and if you have a look here you've got speed boolean on the left mid left and I'll go subtract here and then basically that sucks out the middle there see so like it gets rid of the middle uh, you know so you've got like a like a tunnel uh, and I just uh, basically grabbed the polygons on the side there and uh, and hit B for bevel and I just be beveled it in a bit to create you know the end of the thruster and uh, and then I duped it and mirrored it um, or I don't do that yet actually sorry I'm going ahead of myself um, which what I will do I'll put it in its like with the location where I want so generally create one uh, and then don't worry about the second one until you've actually figured out where you're going to place it you know that way. It saves you a lot of work, so I just create one, find out where I'm going to put it, and because of before, I mirrored the wing. So by mirroring the wing, that means it's if I then put the this uh, the afterburner or the burner uh, wherever I want it to go, and then if I mirror it, it will then put it exactly in the opposite spot uh, where also where the other wing is. So that way, it saves me having to see if I just basically mirror it, it now puts it exactly the same spot on the opposite side, uh, which, you know, which saves you a lot of work. Uh, and of course, just move, you know, I think I've, I've spent way too much time on, on on this sort of thing. I was sort of moving moving the polygons around to, to you know, so then the, the burners show. To be honest, you don't even need to, I mean, I don't even bother putting them in, you know. I, I, like I said, it was my first go, and I was just, you know, I was practicing myself, you know. So, you know, that's really what I was doing. So I was just practicing, you know. Um, and like I said, I mean, that was a year ago. I'm a lot better now, and, and I'm only better because of all these little things that I did, <laughs> you know, little mistakes that I did here and there. I learned from them, so, so my models are a lot better now. Uh, yeah, so like I said, you just... Yeah, it was like a thinking of like a stingray or something. I think you know, and I sort of was playing around with the the, the tail there. And um, just here, what you want to do is uh, now so now what I'm doing, I'm just mapping out surfaces. So you want to click, you know, what you want to make as like the window there, uh, and then make it. See, I've called a window, and I've just painted it blue under surface. So once you've selected it, click Q. 
once you've got all the polygons selected, hit Q and then create your surface window. Uh, and any that you've missed out that you've left, then you hit Q again and then make sure it's highlighted under window and then press OK again. That way it will add it to the window. Um, and uh, so basically that's what I'm doing. And now I'm centrifuge. Uh, so you probably, because I ended up keeping on all of it one colour except for the, uh, I think the burners there, I kept them separate. But the majority of the whole thing, as you can see here, I did it one colour. Uh, so you, it wasn't really necessary to make so many uh, surfaces for all individual things. So really all you should needed to do was probably surface everything as one surface, uh, the whole lot, except for the window. You know, and then you just make that separate. That way you can then put uh, like uh, the window uh, preset on there. Um, which if you go up to the preset, uh, uh, Windows, you'll see presets area, um, and then that will basically uh, give you a whole list. Uh, and I went into the metals one, and I think I selected, uh, what was it, Shh, Chrome. Yeah, I just put Chrome. And then also under there, I think you'll see transparency, I think it's called, or window or something like that, or glass or something. Um, I just selected glass on the uh, surface of the window, you know, for glass, of course, and then the rest chrome, and then the detail on the wings, which I don't like very much. I think I did that like a darker colour or something like that, you know, but um, yeah, I mean, so it turned out pretty good. But like I said, just pause and, uh, and uh, replay whenever you need to catch up. And um, thank you very much for listening. Um, please leave comments. Uh, I, hope, uh, I hope you... Um, I hope I helped you out anyway. Uh, and this, just one final piece, is what I ended up doing. It was that little scene. Uh, that's all I wanted it for. <laughs> so, all right, well, thank you very much for watching, and um, have a good day.